So I wanna share with you how I created uh, this simple Google Sheets activity for students, uh, doing a drop down menu with an emoji that best describes your current mood. So the very first thing that you'd wanna do is go in and create your spreadsheet just like this in Google Sheets. The second thing that you'd wanna do is install the Joy Pixels uh, emoji keyboard that you see right here. So how do you do it? Well, you just go to Google Chrome the web store. Now on Google Chrome, they do have this apps uh, tab right here, which you can click on. It'll take you right here. And then you can go to the Chrome web store, or you could just simply do a Google search for the Chrome web store. Then up top here, you will just type in emoji keyboard. When you do that, you'll see emoji keyboard by Joy Pixels. Now it's already um, installed on mine. However, you will see this thing called add to Chrome. You'll need to add it to Chrome in order for it to appear right up here. Okay, so the next thing that you would do is you'd go in and you would click on the cell where you want to put the emojis, okay? Um, so in Google Sheets, you have the ability to create drop-down menus by going to data and going down to what is called, um, let's see right here, data validation. When you go to data validation, you can go right here and you can choose a list of items. Now, normally what you would do is you would put in a list of items. So for example, if we were doing grades uh, and I wanted to do something like this, I would have A, B, C, and, um, D, and F, or whatever I'd want. In this case, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go back to data validation and I'm gonna choose list of items, okay? Now, I've gotta enter these items and separate them by a comma. Okay, so we're gonna pause right there and we're gonna go up to the Chrome extension, Joy Pixels. Uh, when I go right here to the emoji keyboard, I will go in and I will look for emojis. I can simply click right up here to see a list of them if I'd like. Um, and as you can see, you have lists of smiley people and you know happy and sad, or you could just simply type in a search. So if you wanted say maybe a happy person, um, maybe a sad person, and let's do a um, board person. Okay, here we go. So these are my three different emojis. Now what happens is they automatically copy and paste uh, from my clipboard. And as you can see right down here, I can simply paste. Now on my device, I have a Mac, I did Command V, or you can do Control V on your keyboard, or you can simply paste okay like you normally would now the important thing is is to put a comma between each of your emojis and then hit save and voila now you have this this is pretty neat now if you want to have this work with students well you'll need to have more than one uh cell that th that students are going to respond in so i'm going to just go ahead and i'm going to drag this down i'll just drag it down uh to right about here so now what happens is that my students automatically have the emoji okay isn't that neat so in any cell that you're working with to actually copy text into more than one cell is you use this thing that's called an autofill all right so the next part how do i actually get my students to participate in this well probably the easiest way to participate is just sharing the link i can go right up here to share um, by default uh, whoops by default this is usually restricted Okay, so that only certain people can go through and access it. So what I would need to do is I would need to change this so that anyone with the link, instead of can view, can edit. And now what I have is I have this link right up here that I can copy. I can paste it into a Google Doc, Google Classroom. If you want to use Schoology, Canvas, whatever you're using, that's fine. The beauty is is that when you have numerous people working on this document at the same time, and let me just show you, you're going to see which box that they currently are working in. So I can see right here, oh, Matt Bergman's working on that box. So I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna start working on that. It's a whole lot better for get to know you activities just like this uh, to do it in Google Sheets versus a Google Doc because you will have a lot of chaos, a lot of deleting and editing that may happen without students even knowing.